Hey guys, my name is Jess Damers. I'm with VideoGameGeek.com, which is part of BoardGameGeek.com. Uh, this is my very first vlog, so I'm kind of nervous, but I really hope that you guys enjoy it and that you come back and watch some more. Uh, so, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, since most of you don't know me. Um, I started gaming at the age of four, at least that's what I remember. Um, my mom brought home an SNES with the game Gumshoe, and I was hooked. Ever since then, um, I've been playing all kinds of games, and it's it's all thanks to mom, of course, that I've been playing games, you know. If it wasn't for her Christmas gifts and years of helping me through Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, I would never be the gamer that I was today, so thanks mom. Here's a shout out to you. Um, so I've been playing games for as long as I can remember, basically. Um, some of my favorite games of all times are Mass Effect, if you can't tell I'm wearing a N7 shirt. Um, I love Mass Effect 1 and 2, but Mass Effect 2 is my favorite of the two. Um, and I'm really looking forward to Mass Effect 3. Um, I am a big fan of Kingdom Hearts. Anybody who knows me knows that. I'm not ashamed of it. I was at one point, but I am okay with it now. I have played every single Kingdom Hearts game, and I, I love them, and I will keep playing them no matter how convoluted and strange the storyline continues to get. Um, Another favorite game of mine is Uncharted, which I'll probably talk about a little more later in the vlog. And last but not least, um, I'm a big fan of the game Spyro. I've played all of the original Spyro games, and they're really kind of nostalgic to me, but um, it's definitely really high on my, my list of, of favorite games of all time. Uh, so, to tell you more about me, uh, I'm a recent graduate of the University of Central Florida. I graduated with a degree in visual language, which nobody knows what that means. That's that's cool. Um, I don't even I didn't even know what that was when I when I first signed up for it. Basically I am trying to get into the video game industry as an artist. I want to do um, digital art, concept art, character art, um, maybe a little bit of 3D modeling. Um, so I really love the game industry. Not only do I do journalism with games, I also make them and I have had a job as, uh, as someone who sells video games. Um, so it's just something, it's a passion of mine, it's my number one hobby, uh, it's my favorite thing to do. Uh, so I figure I would share a little bit of that by starting to do some vlogs. Um, other than that, I like photography a lot. I'm a big photo photography enthusiast and I've been doing photography for years. Um, I also really enjoy running. Um, I just did my first half marathon in February. I'm kind of a health nut. I really like working out. I like eating right. Uh, it just kind of makes me feel good. So um, so that's a little bit about me. Um, I guess maybe if I could give you like one weird fact. Uh, let's see. I was in the marching band in high school. I don't know if that's a weird fact, but I played the flute for four years. I have also tried playing violin and piano. Uh, rather unsuccessfully, but I can I can impress people a little bit if they don't know anything about pianos. So um, <laughs> that was something that I I'm not really musically inclined. So we're just gonna stick with video games today. Um, to answer your question, yes, my hair is blue. Uh, no, I was not born that way. Uh, if you can't tell, it's my favorite color. Uh, <laughs> my walls are teal. My hair is teal. My eyes are kind of a teal color. Definitely a gray color. Uh, <laughs> and you'll have to forgive me because I'm actually in the process of moving. I'll be going to Japan in March and I'm um, starting to pack up my stuff. So it's kind of messy behind me, but better than having a blank wall that blends in with your hair. So, um, so let's see. What am I currently playing? Well, right now I am in the process of playing uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. I have been absolutely hooked. Um, I, I started playing the Early Access last Tuesday, and I played it because I pre-ordered it, and I was kind of like, oh, well, I'm going to try it. I think I'll like it. I mean, why wouldn't I like it? Um, liking it is kind of an understatement. I have been playing it every moment that I get. Um, I've been putting off chores, and I have been, um, not, you know, depositing things at the bank over Star Wars. It's, it's a problem. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Needless to say, other than that, I've been playing uh, Mario Kart 7. Uh, this is really good. Um, so today I'm going to talk about uh, a few things. 
most importantly, um, I'm going to talk about my New Year's resolutions. Um, and this is not in order of operations. I'm going to talk about my New Year's resolutions, my favorite games of 2011, and my wish list for Christmas. Um, so I'm going to start with my favorite games of 2011. Um, my number one favorite game this year was Portal 2. I love Portal 2. I thought it was an awesome follow-up to a, a great first game. Um, I was introduced to Portal uh, not too long after it came out. Uh, I loved it. Uh, it was too short. I was sweet, but short. And I love it. what I love about it is it's a puzzle game with a twist. It's not just, um, you know, move a block to here and then get the other block out of there. I mean, everybody's played puzzle games, and they're all pretty similar. They're all 2D. Um, but Portal is its a really dynamic puzzle game with a story, and I just thought that it was beautifully done. Um, it was really high quality. It was just great storytelling, too. So there's nothing to say that you can't do a puzzle game and make it interesting. I think Professor Layton is another good example of that. Uh, so I really love Portal. It keeps you thinking, uh, and it had a really great story. So Portal 2 I thought was a great follow-up. The co-op was amazing. It added so many levels of depth to the game that I didn't even think were possible. I mean, you thought two portals was hard? Try four. Um, so I really I really love Portal, Portal 2. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of the DLC that they're going to come out with. And I have played it more than I probably should have. Um, it's challenging, but uh, I just like playing it over and over. I, I like forget the puzzles or something and play them again. Um, other than that, I obviously, I think that Star Wars The Old Republic is probably one of the best games of the year. Fingers crossed, I think it's going to be, um, a WoW killer. I mean, WoW's already kind of dead. Do I need to mention the pandas? Um, but I think it's great. It's like WoW plus Star Wars, and there is nothing better than that. Just, it's fantastic. Um, so... That's another great one this year, and I'm going to talk about that more later in the vlog. Um, I love Battlefield 3, and uh, and before I get started about why I liked it, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think it's much better than Modern Warfare 3. I said it, and I'll tell you why. Um, I Modern Warfare 3 is pretty much Modern Warfare 2 reskinned with some new maps. So you love Modern Warfare 2? Cool. You've got Modern Warfare 3 now, and you can play that to your heart's content, and it's just like getting a new map pack for Modern Warfare 3. For Modern Warfare 2. But there's, it's not new. It's not, it's not a third in a series. It, you know, the third game in a series should be better. It should be different. Um, it's not really. Battlefield is. Battlefield has the Frostbite 2 engine, which, might I add, is a fantastic engine that does some really spectacular things that a lot of people just take for granted. Um, and the other thing is that the difference between Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3, which I know they're not considered direct sequels, but let's face it, everyone thinks that they are, um, they, they took on what made Battlefield Bad Company 2 multiplayer good, and they made it great in Battlefield 3. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you got to work with other people, but it it just kind of makes the game, it brings the game home better than than just senselessly just shooting. You you do need to work together. If you want to have a a military simulator or you know a good first person shooter, you can't just be killing people. And you know that's what I really loved about Team Fortress is you kind of have to work as a team. You can't just go out there and do what you want. Don't be so selfish. You know, you you gotta work as a team on this one, and I and I like that, and I like that it's a it feels like a fresh take on a on a great series. Um, so I applaud Battlefield Three, and I've been really enjoying the multiplayer. Um, another awesome game is Mario Kart Seven. I loved Mario Kart Seven. I I actually like I kind of forgot how much I like Mario Kart, and then I I bought my Mario Kart Seven, and I've been addicted. I mean, there's so many new things to unlock. They have some of the old favorites like. Um, you know, the Rainbow Road, which everybody hated, but I loved for some reason. And there's, you can unlock new cars, new tires, new, there's um, gliders that you can get, which really adds a really cool new um, aspect to the game where you're flying, picking up coins and knocking other players off the course um, midair. So that's been really fun. The uh, improvements to the multiplayer, the online multiplayer to be exact, have been um, spectacular. Uh, in the past, Nintendo hasn't really been known for their online multiplayer matchmaking, uh, but now I would say that it, it's, it's really well done, and I think it's a formula that other games can follow. Uh, so if you haven't tried that, 
definitely do it. Um, I, I bought my 3DS back in, uh, back in March when it came out. I was one of the suckers who paid um, $250 for my 3DS. Yeah, that was me. Um, you're welcome. Uh, so I didn't really play it. I spent a lot of money on it and I didn't really play it. I played Ocarina of Time. Um, but it's kind of like, you know, been there, done that sort of thing. Um, and I played Star Wars Lego, Clone, uh, Star Wars, the Clone Wars, uh, the Lego game, which was really fun. Um, I really like the Lego in 3D, but still, it's just not a reason to own a 3D system. Um, so Mario Kart really kind of brought it home for me. Uh, I think it was, it was an excellent addition to that, to, to that system, and it's kind of what it needed. Um, also... I have been enjoying, and I feel like this goes without saying, uh, Skyrim. I think that was one of the best games to come out this year. Um, if you haven't tried it, do. It's amazing. I wasn't a big fan of Oblivion, but um, Skyrim, Skyrim, they really took what made Oblivion good and they made it better. Uh, Oblivion was, it was open world, and so is Skyrim, because all of the Elder Scrolls games are open world, which is, uh, oftentimes that's a problem for me, because I get kind of distracted and I want to do other things. Um, so, I, I really like Skyrim because there's dragons. I'm just going to say it. I like it because there's dragons. Um, you know, the Oblivion, you had to find the Oblivion Gates, which is all, you know, fine and dandy, but it gets kind of boring and there's a lot to find and they're really hard to find and then they're really hard to, you know, beat. So, so I got kind of over Oblivion and I kept getting stuck in areas that I wasn't a high enough level for or I, you know, became a vampire and it's just too much pit work to get that, you know, reversed, so I kind of gave up. But Skyrim, you can't walk ten feet without fighting dragons to kill, and if you don't want to kill them, you don't have to. You can go and be a vampire or whatever. You can do what you want. Um, so I think it was a really fresh way of doing the um, Elder Scrolls games by giving you a driving feel by, you know, let's kill the dragons, but you don't have to. You can still do the open world stuff. You can still go wherever you want and do whatever you want in the game and totally ignore the main storyline. So I, I think it was a great addition. Um, so those are my games of the year. Next I'm going to talk about my Christmas wish list. Now I am not Jewish and I do not celebrate Hanukkah, but I know that it just started. So I'd like to wish everybody out there a happy Hanukkah. And uh, this weekend is Christmas. So I have a few things that I'm really hoping are under the tree. Uh, Mom, Dad, if you're watching, um, if you didn't get me these, I'm going to be very sad. So um, you should get them. Uh, so. I want Star Wars The Old Republic. Confession. I uh, don't have the money to get it right now, uh, and, I'm, and I realize that it comes out like days before Christmas, so I'm thinking, hey, I'll just let somebody get it for me. So everywhere I go, I'll be, you know, eating dinner, you know, when I go to visit my parents, I'll be eating dinner and I'll be like, hmm, well the meatloaf's good, but Star Wars The Old Republic is better. Uh, you know, and when I'm out with my friends, and they're like, hey, how you been? I'm like, oh, really good, but I'm kind of sad that my early access to Star Wars The Old Republic is ending. I just can't afford it. So, um, if you know me and you're watching, that's my number one wish, wish list item, and that was just added recently, so I'm sorry if you already went shopping for me, but, um, I'll cry if I don't get that. So, um, Uncharted 3 is also on my list. I pre-ordered the, the collector's edition, and I meant to go get it, and then I didn't because I did not have $100 when it came out. And frankly, all I wanted was the um, necklace that uh, Nathan Drake wears, and, well, you know, I just need the game and the necklace, and so I decided not to get the collector's edition, and maybe I'll kill someone who's wearing the necklace and then take it off of them? I'm not sure. Um, so, I'm missing the game. I have played the first part of it, and it's awesome, but now I need to own it, uh, so that's also on my wish list. Um, Let's see. Mass Effect Apparel. I have a life mission to own all of Bioware's apparel. Um, I'm really excited about the fact that they have a fantastic ladies apparel line. And as you can see, I'm wearing the N7 thermal hoodie. Uh, so I want more shirts. I have a Renegade shirt, I think, already. Um, so long story short, if it's Mass Effect and it's a shirt and it's like a baby doll, I'm happy. I'll take socks. I don't care. Um, I'll even take the, uh, there's like a, there's a replica gun coming out next year and it's going to cost like $200. If you want to get me that, that is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, I also really would like some more portal apparel. I have Shell's Aperture Laboratories tank top. 
but I could really use, um, you know, some more portal stuff. Anything? I think there's a turret out there. I'll take that. That would be cool. Nice addition to my Japanese home, I think. Um, some feng shui. Um, I also asked for the art on uh, making of Star Wars The Old Republic. As an artist um, and somebody who's interested in game design, uh, that is a fantastic piece to add to my art book collection. Um, it's It goes through all of the making of and all the, um, mostly the appearance and artwork of Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what went into that. I know it took six years to make it. Um, so it's a big art book and it costs a lot and I'm kind of hoping that it just shows up under the Christmas tree. Santa? Anyone listening? Um, so that's a really great uh, addition and it's got, it's a book that I feel like anybody could ap appreciate. You don't have to be an artist to appreciate the, the time and effort that went into making Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, and if you're a Star Wars fan, I mean, who, do I need to say more? I don't. So anyway, um, the other thing I asked for was Lord of the Rings trilogy on Blu-ray. Um, I own the first one on Blu-ray and I have all of the extended cuts, but that's not enough. I like to own complete collections and I like them when they come in the pretty shiny boxes. So um, I really want that. Since I already own them, I couldn't justify buying it myself. So I said, hey, I'll just ask for it for Christmas and uh, I'm hoping that works out for me. Um, and then the, the last thing that I asked for is a board game. It's called Last Will. I got the chance to play it at Board Game Geek Con and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm really picky about board games because, frankly, it's kind of scary to invite people over and they just don't know what to pick because there's too many options. Um, so I like to have a, a selection of variety of games and games that are kind of funny, too. Um, so Last Will is a game that you basically are trying to um, you're trying to spend your money as fast as you can. And you can do things like buy houses and throw wild parties and let the house depreciate. Um, you can take ladies on carriage rides. Uh, it's just, it's a really clever and really funny game that is, you know, can be played with any age, well, mostly any age, um, and, you know, it's a good time. On that note, I'd like to point out that I recently played a game, um, well, I didn't play it. I saw it. It's a card game, and it's called Cats in a Blender, and I, ha I, I would really love to play it, so I don't necessarily need it for Christmas, but if somebody wants to play it with me, that would be a nice, that would be a nice gift. Um, so, you have to basically try and blend cats. It's weird. Just Google it. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, and then, so that's it for my Christmas wish list. Um, I think it's going to be a, a, a good turnout this year. Um, I'm getting the idea that people are buying things for me off of my Amazon wish list, which is the perfect place for me. Um, I already bought the Lego, not Lego, I already bought the Harry Potter Blu-ray collection, years one through seven plus part two. Anyway, um, I couldn't resist. I like complete collections, so, um, so anyway, that's my Christmas wish list. And my last point of interest today is my New Year's resolutions. Um, these are mostly gamer or nerd uh, New Year's resolutions. Actually, they're all video games. But um, I do have some other re um, personal New Year's resolutions and things like I would like to continue running. I'm not so interested in running another half marathon, but I do want to keep up the, the distance running, maybe a 10K or something like that. Um, another resolution of mine is to... Um, to learn Japanese because I'm moving to Japan so and I have a few reasons for that uh, I think it's really important to learn about other cultures and learn their languages um, just I want to be more worldly and know about the Asian cultures um, my other thing is is that I want to do journalism from Japan and I would like to work for possibly a company in Japan for making games so it's kinda hard to do those things if you don't speak Japanese um, and on that note I am probably going to start doing a series of vlogs from Japan about Japanese video games. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please check back. I'm going to start doing that here um, at least uh, early next year when I've moved there. Uh, but i, I got to learn Japanese first, otherwise it's going to be a lot of me going, It's really pretty. You don't want that, and I don't either. So, um, <laughs> so other than that, uh, my other resolutions as a gamer are to play my PSP more because as I was packing I was realizing that I had a lot of PSP games that I've never played. 
Um, I love my PSP to death, and I got it last time I was in Japan, I bought it there. So I'm not going to get rid of it, so I might as well play these games. Um, I didn't play Dissidia at all, I bought it, and I, I tested it at E3 2009, but I never played it, so I want to show some love to my PSP. So, you know, that's, uh, that's high on my list. Um, uh, my other... Let's see, my other one. Oh, reach level 50 in Star Wars The Old Republic. For MMOs, it's it's one of those things where I can't focus on anything for more than like two hours. So it takes me a while to get to, to um, level caps because I get distracted whether it's doing um, arena battles or what have you. Um, playing in multiplayer options, socializing, I get distracted, and it takes me a while, and I'm, I know how to power level, but I, I just, I kind of, I just kind of hang out and do whatever I feel like doing, and I get there, but it takes a while, so my New Year's resolution is to make sure that I keep playing until I get to level 50, and then, and then keep playing some more, because I have a bad habit of starting characters over and over for other servers, because everyone's like, oh, join me on this server, so not this time, friends. I am, I'm going to make it to level 50 with my current character. Then, other than that, I would like to become an achievement whore. You heard me correctly. I would like to up my gamer score. I own so many consoles and so many systems that I play such a variety of games and my achievement scores suck. I mean, I have terrible achievement scores. And when I tell people that I'm a gamer and they see my achievement scores, they're like, oh, okay, I did I thought you were a gamer. I am a gamer, I swear. I just, I just, I don't play one system, so my, my score on each system is very low. So if it takes buying Avatar The Last Airbender and getting that 1,000 point achievement, I will do it. I will, I will do it for you. Or, for me. Who's counting? I'm not. I'm just going to get a high gamer score. And don't tell anybody this is what I'm doing, but this is what I'm going to do, because, because the world needs to know that I cheat. Um, so yeah, so those are my, oh, one more, and you're gonna laugh. I want to play through Assassin's Creed. I've not played through any of the Assassin's Creed franchise. I have been told numerous times that I would love it, and I haven't played it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, I tried to play Assassin's Creed 1, and I didn't like it at all. So I'm just going to watch the cutscenes. It was really repetitive. Um, so I'm going to watch the cutscenes. I've already bought Assassin's Creed 2, so no excuses. Um, I am going to play through Assassin's Creed, if it's the last thing I do, and I'm going to play Assassin's Creed 3 with you, or whoever. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, so I will see you there. Um, other than that, that's all I've got for today. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I know I stumbled a little bit. you got to forgive me. This is kind of a proof of concept. Just get my feet wet. Um, but check back. I'm probably going to do some vlogs from Japan and hopefully one or two before then. Um, if there's anything you guys would like to uh, you know, hear or comment on or anything you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. And I would like for you guys to put what your gamer New Year's resolutions are. Um, other than that, I wish you a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And I will see you in 2012.